and welcome back to the tutorial today I'm going to teach you a little bit about cinematics and we are going to create a level sequence which can be played anywhere in your level so I'm just using one of the sci-fi um, example maps for this tutorial and I'm using the Paragon character which you will find which you can find in the Unreal Store and what I've done is to start with I've took that character and put it into Mixamo and with whatever animations I can find from Mixamo I've imported them into my game for them to be used in the cutscenes. So to start with what I've done is I've just dragged this character here and placed him in the level here. So if I then press start you can see the character just sitting there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the top so where it says cinematics and we're going to do add level sequence. Just going to call it whatever you call it whatever you need to call it. So I'll just call it tutorial example sequence. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a camera from the class section on the modes on the left side of the screen. So we get camera. And this is gonna be the camera that you're gonna see in the cinematic. So you place it how you need, sort the angles out. If it feels right, change the field of view if you need to, rotate, then once we've done that we're going to open our sequencer and then we're going to track that camera. So you go on track, actor to sequencer and add camera actor and once you've done that you'll be able to see that that camera is now being used and if you want to see the sequence of view just click on this one here a lock viewport from camera cuts and you'll be able to see all right another thing that we're going to track is the character itself so on here it's called sitting idle and in mixamo click it in the world track action to sequence add sitting idle so now we're tracking that character so we can track any animation that we want it to do and we can track where it goes we can also track a lot more things it switches all here, we can also hide the actor in the game so if you want to see it we can enable or disable it but to start with I'm just going to show you how we can move around that camera and um, just show the level in essence so we're going to track the camera and we track it on transform so in the first frame we are going to first frame we're just going to press this button here which adds a new key to the timeline so that's gonna that's the timeline for the camera actor so we click here add a new add a new key we can also use the enter button if we need then I'm just gonna get the camera to pan over over two seconds so we're gonna go to 60 and I'm gonna move the camera just here just to show the hallway and once you've moved the camera in the actual world on the sequencer, you're going to make sure you are at the frames that you want the camera to be at. So, so it, in two seconds, it will move from the spot there to here. And you can also see it here. So then what you want to do is you want to add the keyframe. And as you can see, that little blue line popped up. So if we move it back to zero, and we click this button here, so we can see how it looks in the world. Press play. We can see that the camera moves there. So that's how to get the camera moving. You can obviously rotate the camera, or if you want to change the field of view, you can do that. So here, I'm going to show you how to change to another camera. So also drag it out. We know that's called camera actor two. I'm just going to place that one. Just going to place it behind our character, and then we're going to track that actor to sequence add camera actor and now remember the number two car camera is this one here so I'm going to move this over here to 60 it's a bit fiddly but and then once that camera is moved to the hallway I'm going to wait a minute 
not a minute but a few seconds and I'm going to add another camera which is the camera actor 2 now I'll show you what that did so this is how it's going to look so press play so that camera moves there a few seconds later it shows the back of the character now that character you can see the back of the character I'm going to show you how to add an animation for the character so as that's moving that's moved around here we're going to track animation and what we're going to do is we're going to do sit to stand animation which is the character's going to do this stand up but he's going to keep sitting back down as um, the animation is only playing once so once he's stood up we're going to move the camera around and we're going to make the camera follow him I haven't got any walking animations for the character from Mixamu as I retargeted from the third person character so what I can show you next is how we're going to um, how you're going to add another animation so we're just going to use this one that I've got here which is looking around he moves a little bit because of where the animation was first placed he's moving a little bit back so what we quickly can do is try to push the character forward so from here where it's finished we're just going to track the transform and on the first frame we're just going to move the character slightly forward so he's not phasing into the chair I'm just going to track that transform no, actually we won't do that just yet remove that so right at the start we're going to track the transform so the so he knows to move just where we start to make him move alright so he stood up another key from there so from this point onwards he's just going to stay, stay in that one position so up and now he's up and as you can see here he's phasing into the chair we'll try to sort that out now so then if we move the character forward now we've got the keyframe in front it should work and he's moving forward now what we can do with that we can just change the angle of the camera so it, it looks like um, it doesn't look like he's facing into the chair because the animations are from Mixamo they're not fully they don't all have the correct bones which most of the Unreal Engine mannequins have so therefore it will be a bit difficult but this is why I'm making this tutorial to show what we can do without obviously all the equipment and mocap studios etc etc so when he starts to stand up I want to begin to move this camera the second camera which is here so I'm going to make sure it's stuck in one position for now so it's behind him and as he gets up I'm going to get the camera to start moving round so make sure we've put the this one here or wherever you want it to start moving I'm just putting it here and then I'm going to move the camera in a little bit I'm going to rotate it a touch it's not the cleanest of cutscenes but it's just an example of and just sh I'm just showing you how to do it so now we just add another keyframe there and press play and now you can see the camera moving as the camera as character standing up and just here it gets it's a bit dodgy so that's the best word I can use to describe it so what, we're gonna use another camera and get another view of him so just here is where it starts to phase so what we're going to do here is as we did before with another camera we're going to get another camera out which is going to focus on the character's face it can be from any angle so just here we're going to we're going to add that um, another camera in 
So remember track, actor to sequence, add camera actor 3, and then here, create a new, add the camera actor 3 here. So now you can see it's switching from camera to camera. So if we then view that whole thing that we just created, the camera moves there, he sits up, starts looking around. And we can also just make that camera move around as well. Um, so where was that? Add a key on transform. Get the camera to rotate. And before that, sorry. Just move the camera angle, uh, move the timeline there, uh, rotate, move forward, I'm just going to track it by clicking transform again, right, okay now let's see how that looks. Don't know why it's not doing it. Okay, maybe that's why. Yeah, so so far, it's looking like this. And that's pretty much what I really want to show you guys. So from here, you can literally repeat these steps. And um, yeah, you can put any animation that you want in there. And you can show the level of how you want to show the level of. But I'm just going to show you quickly how to get rid of these, how to get rid of that while the character is, while the animation is in progress. So I'm going to do that for both of them, I'm going to track both, track actor hidden in game. So I'm going to change the visibility to off for now. Actually I can just change all visibility off for each of them, as I don't think it makes a difference. Come back to track after hidden in game. But do this at the end once you have your cameras all set up. Otherwise, if you do it from here, they'll always be hidden. So you won't be able to find them here. You won't be able to see where they are without without physically kicking them over here. So we'll turn that off. And then once you're done, and once you've got everything that you need, just save it and I want to show you how we can now um, op um, so when we play the game we're gonna play the animation first so we're gonna open source and we're gonna sequence I think it's called play sequence Create, that's the word, create. Create level sequence player. And we're just going to choose the one that we created. I can't spell, but it's all good. And then we're going to right play. Hook that up. And I'll show you what happens right now. This is where I've put my third person character currently. Just put him. So when you press play, you see. It does the whole animation that we wanted to do, and we can see that guy, which is what we need to sort out. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this guy because he's still there. So we're going to open the levels we can't sort up. Go back again. I think I've closed it, and we're just going to track the third person character as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that third person character, the one that we're going to use in the place of where the character is going to be standing up. So track, actor to sequence, add third person character. And what we're going to do is we're just going to um, act a hidden in game. So now he's not there, but he's going to be in the position that the character stands up. So we're standing up about just a bit more back. Just here. 
so it ends just here. So we turn the vis first what we want to do is set visibility report keyframe and then do it off and then right at the end just I just tend to do it one frame after where it's ended. Add another frame, tick on. So now after that's done, the character will appear. The one that we can control. Um, just note how long your cinematic is. So 330 frames our cinematic is basically, which works out to be 11 seconds, I think. 30. Yeah, 11 seconds. So in the blueprints, what we're going to do is, the level blueprint, we're going to do play, then we're going to do delay, we'll change that to 11 seconds, and where's it gone? Okay, the, the one that we're using for the animations, which was in our sequencer, we're going to destroy actor, create a reference to the actor that we're using compile and that should be it hopefully press play wait why is it standing up play it glitches sometimes I don't know why when you press play and when you view it in here and now the guy behind us was, is gone and we can now play as the character it might look better in here because sometimes it, it does and then that's what I can't figure out why I'm just going to lock it here press play yeah it works, as you can see he is sitting down and it starts with him sitting down and getting up and looking around then yeah, that character pops in um, just one more thing, if you guys want to add any audio in um, you can always do it by clicking here, track, audio track, um, and then you just find whatever you want to, just find the audio that you want to find from here, we'll just do the, add the wind in, and obviously it's quite simple from here, it's just you place it wherever in the timeline that you want it to play, so I think as soon as it starts looking around, I'll get the wind sound playing. So now if you press play, hopefully the wind sounds not too loud and doesn't rape anybody's ears, but um, yeah, the sound seems again, obviously, the sound stops, and yeah, you can play your game. That's pretty much it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.